Good practice on Tuesday, uh, real good practice Wednesday. Uh, and then very excited about that, and then even more excited uh, when they came back on Sunday for yesterday's practice. It was very sharp, and uh, guys were mentally on it. Um, I felt like we, we improved from where we were on Tuesday and Wednesday. Jim, you said that uh, on your show yesterday with Jim Brands here, you said that you use it. It's improvement week versus bye week. How much do you? How much time do you spend just working on the individual things before you get back to game planning? Uh, well, we were, we were game planning, um, and you know, it was, it was probably it was probably 50-50, uh, 50 on the next opponent, fifty percent on uh, um, individual technique. Fundamentals um, uh, and football. You know, just uh, the ability to get more rep, reps, repetition, and uh, you know practice good on good. Um, Michigan versus Michigan. So uh, entailed all those things. That were, you, t you referred to the radio show last week, not yesterday. Oh yeah, sorry. You expect Drake Johnson back and Brian Cole. What's his status as of right now? Uh, he is. Uh, uh, Drake Johnson. Do expect uh, him to be ready to go? Yeah. Or Brian Cole. Uh, probably still some time away from being ready to go. Is red shirt possible for him at this point? For Brian. Yeah. Uh, we don't really talk about that. that concept. Coach, can you talk about a little bit about Willie Henry and what he's given you this year? Yeah, he's been he's been terrific. Um, he stepped stepped on the, the game from last week, and he continues to be an improving player, and uh, you know just playing playing all out. The end of that ball game, he was he was a critical factor in in those stops, and he was doing it uh, with talent, hustle, and uh, he's playing very very good, improving football, his technique, his fundamentals, uh, and very aggressive. Um, really can't say enough good things about what he's playing right now. Right, Dan. I'll ask you about uh, Jared Wilson. Pulled out the flashiest, most well-known guy in the secondary. But what, what does he do to help keep that group together and help you know, keep that thing? No, it's just he's a good football player. Uh, he is a he's a very much a leader. Uh, you know, he does it in his own through his own personality. But uh, people listen to Jared when he talks. Uh, he's a do stuff right guy all the time. And uh, really enjoyable to coach uh, and talented. Um, but there's not a probably, I mean, it's uh, something that the, the public doesn't see his, his leadership qualities because he does it such a, such a, a steady, steady, non show type of way, you know, that. Uh, but I can I can assure that he is he is one of the top leaders on the team. In what ways does he lead that we don't see? Um, by example, um, <clears throat> by uh, by consistently good uh, all the time. He takes he takes coaching uh, extremely well. Uh, gives feedback, and um, I would say all those things. It's just uh, you know, not the. Maybe not breaking down the guys in the middle of a huddle, you know, that, or uh, getting the fans hyped up, waving a towel or something like that. Uh, he just he doesn't draw a lot of attention to himself, so it would be hard for anybody to um, to, to recognize that that's not there on a on a daily basis. But I would define it as the best way, you know, by uh, by example. Jim, what are your memories of the LeBron Jug from your playing career, and and will you make a big deal out of it this week with your guys? Um, one of the one of the great trophies, I think. Uh, I've always remembered it that way, and um, 
we'll approach it the same way that we, that we want it. Obviously, the numbers against Michigan, the rushing numbers against Michigan State were severe drop off than you guys had been in the five previous games. Is that a case of the offensive line regressing, or was it uh, something that that particular game something was needed? No, I think those those yards were hard fought in the running game on both sides. Did you expect? So I wouldn't categorize it as uh, as regression, regressing, uh, but it was a hard fought fought game. John. What sticks out to you in particular about this Minnesota team that you're going to face? Well, I mean, they, they whipped us pretty good last year uh, when, you, when you snap on the film of that game. Uh, resilient football team, uh, you know, very good defensive scheme. Uh, you know, they commit a lot of, very aggressive and um, you know, good football team in all phases. Extremely well coached. Derek Kill is a fantastic coach. Uh, all those things. Any other questions? In the middle there, Matt. You probably don't want to linger on what happened a week and a half ago or whatever, but have you gotten any clarification from the Big Ten on the Joe Bolden uh, ejection that you can share with us? Um, no, not that I can share. Um, and, you know, just uh, this is a point of a reference, uh, not into the if this, if that, you know, type of type of scenarios. Uh, if worms had machine guns, then birds wouldn't be scared of them. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> we're uh, we're looking to find our season over the next next number of games that we play. Anything special to prepare for this week's game, or just normal stuff? <laughs> Doing something very special. Yeah, thirty-four little letter word. Uh, uh, w O R K. In the front here, Chris. Coach, given Jabril's success on offense, everybody wants to know what you, do. You think it's possible that we'll see you more on that side of the ball? Do you have the depth, the safety to? Maybe you could, because of the way some guys are developing, do that. Yeah. Um, uh, to answer your question, yes, possibly. Um, and as always, you would like your opponent to understand all the possibilities and, and let them think about that. But very much possible. Coach, kind of considering this uh, halfway point of the season of sorts, could you kind of evaluate your line play on both sides of the ball? Is it kind of where you wanted it to be, where you expect it to be, and what are the what's the potential for both sides? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, to evaluate it, I mean, the roles have been set. Uh, you know, the play is, play is improved. I mean, 